from Dr. Sam in the City. Today I wanted to do a makeup review um, of a product I've recently tried that I've been super impressed by. Um, now, you probably all know I'm a big fan of NARS makeup as a general rule because I think it's well formulated, doesn't tend to cause problems, um, doesn't clog pores, doesn't tend to cause um, fragrance related reactions. Um, and the range of shades is truly awesome, especially if you have a cooler toned complexion, um, as I think certain brands can tend to err on the side of being quite pink. Um, and I know I certainly quite like a cooler base foundation um, or concealer with my complexion. So I find NARS to be really good. Um, so I was very excited to hear about these dinky new concealers from NARS. Um, they're soft finish, no, soft matte complete concealer, um, which is, um, I think, a great addition to their concealer portfolio. Um, Radiant Creamy Concealer is certainly a firm favourite of mine, but there are times, I don't know, I guess when you're concealing something that's got a lot of activity, and I'm talking about blemishes now, um, you really don't want any hint of radiance about it. Um, and Sometimes you also want a product that is just a bit more um, dense, highly pigmented, so that you just have to use a you know a tiny, tiny amount of it. Um, and not being too creamy can actually be an asset. Um, and I think that as we move towards perhaps wearing less blanket coverage all over our faces and more just discreet coverage. Um, for example, with my complexion, I know I have quite a lot of red here in the middle of my face, especially as the day goes on and maybe I've had some caffeine or I'm rushing around, I'm a bit revved up. Um, so I quite like to have a product where I would just use maybe more discreet local high coverage just where I need it but keep everything else looking very natural um, in finish. And I think that a really good quality concealer really lends itself to that. So rather than wearing um, heavy base all over, you just use coverage where you need it. So for that reason, um, given that noses naturally tend to be a little bit on the shiny side anyway, I welcome the idea of a matte product that's very kind of blurring and soft focus to just touch up through the day um, as maybe my um, initial layer of foundation kind of wears a little thin where my skin is oilier. So that's why I'm finding this kind of product really a bit of a godsend. Um, so the actual product itself, um, I have decided that I like the medium one custard colour the best for my complexion, although I have to be honest, the actual, the vanilla in light two isn't that far off it and I think that there is a need for some flexibility with um, products sometimes anyway. Um, now I'm not sure I would use this under my eyes, I still prefer a slightly creamier product for under eyes um, unless you have really dark blue areas right there in that little hollow in which case you might use a little bit of this to amp up the coverage of a more creamy under eye concealer but otherwise for treating anything that I want to conceal on the cheeks or around the nose or forehead. I love the texture of this. It's almost like a, a kind of fudgy texture. Um, and it's very smudgeable, very blendable. Um, and I think has really good coverage. And on my skin, certainly, it does tend to stay put very well. So I don't really tend to set products like this with powder ever unless um, maybe I was doing an event where I was going to be, you know, have very little chance of touching up my makeup through the day. Um, but where I can touch up if I need to, maybe sort of, you know, halfway through my working day, I prefer to keep this kind of product on powdered and then just reapply if I need a bit more concealment. Um, so yeah, very blendable, um, soft focus, stays well, doesn't cause any problems, and I really find that the pot is quite transportable um, and easy to use, and quite, it's just a cute object, isn't it? Um, and then I would tend to use a um, concealer, if I can't find it now, I would use like a sort of a, um, a recycled concealing wand, the kind that you might use for under the eyes, and I'll just carry that around with me so I've got um, an easy way to apply product um, without dipping fingers in the jar, as I just rather unpleasantly did. Um, so yeah. A thumbs up from me, a great new product from NARS, um, really useful, very versatile concealer. Um, let me know how you found it. All right, thank you for listening. Bye for now.